Hi everyone, Zen Within Me here. I'm so excited to share my Oracle cards with you. I finally got them in. Okay, so I told you I was going to do a showcase video, so here we have it. All right. Initials, Traits, and Features Oracle Cards by Zen Within Me. All right, so let's start off first with some of the letters. These cards give you initials of people or letters to describe a person, place, or thing that connects you to your person or situation. They can also give you timing, such as days of the week, month, or numbers, okay, as you've seen me use them in my readings. Traits and features are self-explanatory. These oracle cards are not just for love, but for anything in your life where you will need specific details about a person or situation. Purchase info is down below in the description box. Check out my YouTube channel, Zen Within Me, for free weekly readings. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, peace and love, guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel, Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be for Virgo Sun Moon Rising, and the topic is, as you know, who's going to call you, what are they going to say, and when. All right, so without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. Okay, guys, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give you clear and concise messages for Virgo Sun Moon Rising. Who is going to be calling Virgo, and what are they going to say? Who is going to be calling Virgo, Woo! and what are they going to say? Who is going to be calling Virgo and what are they going to say? All right, let's see. Okay, so we have the star here. So you, for some of you, this could be an Aquarius coming in. Um, this could also be in the time of Aquarius since we're also asking when, okay? Um, hmm. This is somebody that um, you may have had a tip with and they're going to communicate with you because they want to heal things. They still have hope in this connection, whether it's romantic or not. Um, this can also be work-related. Just fit it into your life based on whatever answers it is that you're trying to seek here. Um, so th there's still hope that there is a, a mending of the connection. This person is looking to heal things, okay? Eight of Pentacles. So for some of you, this has a lot to do with work. Okay, so with the Eight of Pentacles, this is... Um, just somebody focusing on work, working hard. Uh, like I said, this can also be someone from work trying to heal things. And with the Six of Wands, this is um, finally getting recognized um, for your efforts, being recognized by others. This could also be a promotion, all right? So if you guys may be uh, looking for answers as far as work goes, this could be somebody calling you for work, hiring you back, hiring you for a job or if you had a tiff with somebody at the job maybe like you know because they're asking you to do things out of your pay grade or you know they're asking you to do a lot without more pay you know whatever the situation is I do feel for majority of you it is work related they are going to finally promote you or recognize you for your efforts and treat you with um, more respect and and um, give you more of what you should really be getting here all right, so this is good news. All right, so let's see. Regarding love, what are they going to say? What are they going to say to Virgo regarding love? Okay, we have the sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. So again, there's a tiff here, a riff. Whatever it is that's going on, this person is going to be calling you because they're going to want to say, hey, you know, there was this situation, this whatever it is. Um, I, I want some clarity on this. You know, I want to know what's going on. I want some truth here. Okay. So something may have happened that like you weren't aware of or, you know, whatever, like I said, at work or in regards to love. Um, this person wants to know what's going on. They want to get to the bottom of things because they do want to mend things with you. Now, this could also be vice versa, okay? The energy can be flipped here. If you have something that's going on here and you don't know what happens, what's going on, you may call this person and be like, hey, what happens? You know, I like, because you do genuinely care for this person, you don't want to have um, a, an issue with them. 
Uh, because like I said here, twin flames, yin and yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complements each other. You really care for this person genuinely. All right. So since I asked with these cards specifically for love, you feel a, a strong connection with this person. You feel balance and you want that union back, you know. So if you guys are kind of on the outs, you're going to want to clear the air because you want this person back in your life or this is how they feel towards you. Okay. And then we have not today. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call a person boundary, still angry. So they may have called you in the past and you weren't ready to talk to them. So you just kind of blew it off. Or you may have already reached out to them and, you know, to get to the bottom of things and find out what's going on. And they may have just not been ready to talk to you about it. It may have been still fresh. And, you know, they, they may have felt that, you know, things wouldn't have gotten... Um, worked out in their favor like you wouldn't see things from their point of view so they just decided you know what i i don't want to deal with any drama i don't want to hear somebody telling me i'm wrong when they're not willing to listen to my side so i'm just not gonna i'm not ready to talk to this person yet you know because i don't feel they're really going to listen so they may have just avoided the call or you may have done this to somebody else that has already called you in regards to this situation it's just you weren't ready yet okay so if this pertains to you, I would strongly suggest, you know, reaching out again or the next time they talk to you. If you do really feel this way, that there's a strong connection and you do genuinely care for this person and you do want to get to the bottom of things, give them a call or when they call you, you know, answer the phone. Okay, so now we're going to go to my Oracle cards and I have it divided. So it's the letters and then the traits and features over there. So you could do the same thing when you, when you have your cards if you choose to buy the link is down below. You can get it uh, by regular credit card through my Etsy shop or PayPal, PayPal credit from Zemathimmy.com. And I'm extending the free gift to November 15th. So if you pre-order by November 15th, you'll get a free gift. Okay. So who is going to be contacting Virgo? Who's going to be contacting Virgo? <laughs> okay. So for some of you, you will be making the phone call. Me you're going to be calling somebody. So for some of you, this is relevant. Okay. Also M. So M initial or Emily, you know, anything like that. Okay. Who is going to be contacting Virgo? All right. So we'll just take these for now. Okay. We have the letter V and D. All right. So I'm seeing moved here. So somebody may have moved or this has to do something with moving. Okay. I'm also seeing here um, Dev. So this could be like um, Devin. Also Med is spelled out. So this might have something to do with uh, the medical field. MD, maybe Maryland. Or MD, doctor, medical field still. Um, okay, so M-E-D, also Ed is spelled out. So it could be somebody named Ed. Uh, we may also have like a Didi. You can always, you know, double up the letters even though they're not there, like to what spells out. You know, I'm also seeing like medieval. So somebody might be um, into like medieval times or something like that. That's another sign to give you a clue as to who your person might be if their letters are not here to, you know, give you their initials or describe them in another way. All right. So M-E-D-V, however that resonates with you. Okay, now let's pull some traits and features to get some more clues as to who your person will be that is going to contact you. Okay. Who is going to be contacting Virgo? So we know what the conversation is about. And we're getting who. Then we'll go and get when. Okay, so who is going to be contacting Virgo. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we have Virgo, your person may be short or shorter than you. 
witty. Maybe they have a big mouth <laughs> uh, where you could just like their mouth. I'm also getting like kisses, wealthy, voice. So you might be having phone conversations or um, I'm seeing here like with a voice, they, they want to be heard because we also have V here. Okay. Um, so like they, like I said, this about here with it, like promotion and, you know, working hard and all that. I feel like this for some of you that this is a work related inquiry. They feel like their voice is not being heard, you know, and this person is independent. Okay, let me actually move this down here. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my timing stones and let's see if we can get, when will you have contact with this person? When will Virgo have contact with this person? Whether it's you reaching out to them or them reaching out to you. Okay, when will Virgo have contact with this person? I'm gonna pull one more, okay. All right, so this is a general reading. The timing is gonna be different for everybody. Okay, so I have here call. So you guys are gonna get a call, which makes sense because here we have not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, or person, okay? All right, so I'm seeing later. So it's not right now. And then we have weeks and the number four and 11, okay? So within four to 11 weeks, 11 can also be the month of the November that we are in right now. So it could be like the last week of November. We have number four here, so four weeks, four weeks from now, or the fourth week of November, okay? Or um, however it resonates with you. It also depends on when you're watching this video. So if you see this video in a few months, like let's say January, then okay, it could be within four to 11 weeks or maybe the 11th of January, uh, four weeks, however it makes sense, all right? Okay, so those are your messages, Virgo. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Peace and love. Check out my uh, links down below. I'm also on Wizio. I have my uh, channel membership perks available. Just click on the join button and that will give you all the information there. I also have some videos that I posted if you wanna go and see more info about that. All right, peace and love guys, and I will see you in the next reading.